think the microphone's working now, so we can now record material. Um, this is the model example. We discussed it yesterday in some detail, going step by step, but I have noticed that some students are still a little bit confused about how to write this response. So, who wants to volunteer that has not yet volunteered their material? Morgan, you all right? Yeah. yeah. Has your group volunteered? Yeah, you have. So, Nipun, have you in your group? No? Okay, so which letter are you, Nipun? G. 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 Line 6G. Uh, right there at the bottom. Okay, so we start with the research question that the group is following. That research question, what are the newest species scientists have found that are rare, exotic, extinct, or ancient? In the past few years, scientists and activists have made strides to help save and discover recently found or extended animals that are in trouble. Um, by extended, endangered? We can't help extinct animals, they're dead. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Got it. Um, discover recently found or extinct animals that are in trouble. We'll take a look at that. Um, I N C T. Extinct. The scientists are trying to discover and bring them back in a respectful way, but some are jumping in and using newer, faster methods. Not bad. Actually, this is an excellent introduction to a discussion. But what I'd like to do is try to determine whether or not Jeremiah and Nipun have written in a clear way to see what their subsequent paragraphs will be. I'm going to read it again. Here's what I want you asking yourself. Does this tell me what their main ideas are? Do they have two main ideas? Three main ideas? Because remember, how many did I have in my model example? I had two, right? Positive relationships to fight bullying and negative punishment to fight bullying. Those are my two main ideas. Let's see what Nipun and Jeremiah have. In the past few years, scientists and activists have made strides to help save and discover recently found or extinct animals that are in trouble. The scientists are trying to discover and bring them back in a respectful way, but some are jumping in and using newer, faster methods. Somebody want to give me an idea what the different ideas, sorry, that's redundant, um, might be? Nick? Oh, okay. Um, new and faster methods, but if one of them is new and faster methods, I'm looking for something that's different. I'm not sure I've got something in this paragraph. They don't talk about any old methods, do they? Well, we will change it. Oh, so you're saying that some people are, how do you respect an animal in that way? Describe for me what um, you mean. I'm kind of, instead of directly interfering with their, like, like them, like, either dying out or whatever, uh -huh. they're, like, kind of sitting back and watching so that they can either prevent it or whatever it later, but some people are just trying to jump in and just be less successful and just all kind of, like, like the... So is this the difference between sort of um, passively monitoring a situation and actively yeah. involving yourself? Then are those your two ideas? Yeah. Could those be two paragraphs? Yeah. <coughs> okay, let's take a look at how we will fix this. The past few years, scientists and activists have made strides to help save and discover recently found or extinct animals that are in trouble. Um, scientists are trying to discover and bring them back through either um, passive, gentle methods or active, aggressive ones. Yeah. How does that look? Does that look like your ideas? 
And by saying, does that look like your idea, it means do you have articles that would fill either paragraph? Yes, and would it write on it? Excellent. So Jeremiah and Napoon have done an excellent job with the draft of that first paragraph. And now they have two clear ideas for topics for their subsequent paragraphs. The first topic sentence would be something like this. How's that sound? Topic sentence for trying to be respectful and gentle. And then they'll write something similar for the next paragraph where other scientists are disrespecting animal populations through active aggressive means of saving them. Something like that. Okay, good. Excellent. So, but you recognize that, that everybody's trying to help. So all paragraphs are about helping, right? So what distinguishes paragraph two from paragraph three? The gentle, non-intrusive, passive methods versus the aggressive, active ones. Okay, now we've got it. And, and thank you, um, Nick, for identifying that as well. Um, let me, which group? B. Research question. By the way, notice I haven't had any problems so far with these folks formatting. Arial 14 point font, they've got the spaces in the correct place. Please make sure that your group is doing that as well. It will make life easier on me finding information and you on reading my feedback. How are people or nations currently addressing violent weather around the globe? Recently, people, um, make that people and nations all around the globe are addressing violent weather through both negative attitudes and positive attitudes. Uh, make that attitudes and attitudes, plural. Violent weather has been in many news articles, even if it is the US or somewhere else in the world. Okay, can you explain to me what you mean by negative attitudes and positive attitudes? Well, some people are saying that we'll stand up to it or don't support it, but some people just don't think we're going to be positive attitudes or negative attitudes and that's not people. Okay. All right, I got it. So both negative attitudes um, and positive attitudes. How about this? Um, addressing violent weather through both um, let's take negative attitudes and gosh, the word that is 